Hi there, Prairie Plant Girl here. I want to bring you in and give you an update on my uh, growing medium experiment that I'm doing. So as you can see here, I've had germination on every one of these uh, little spaces uh, with the different growing medium. Um, just to remind you, so if you didn't catch the first video, I've just uh, planted up these rows here. This one is uh, pots and plants, just kind of a, a generic um, all-purpose um, potting mix. And then the next row here is coco coir. This one here was a uh, Miracle Grow branded peat moss, which also had a little bit of fertilizer added to it um, as part of the package. This was just some decorative sand from the Dollar Tree. This is a Jiffy uh, potting soil mix, which had a, a combination of peat moss, coco coir, um, I can't remember. There was a few different items in it um, to make it a nice lofty mix. I believe it had some perlite in it as well. And this was just a, a medium uh, vermiculite here. So each of these trays had 10 radish seeds put in them, each of the rows, and five marigold seeds. So the radish, as radish does, started to germinate almost immediately. And if I recall correctly, it was the vermiculite and the sand that uh, germinated the fastest. I'll put up some, some photos here um, of when this all happened. And the rest followed shortly. Within days, they were all up and going. Um, I don't know how well you can see in here because the rest are overshadowing, but the sand, although they all germinated and came up, Many of them did not, they, str like they struggled uh, to continue to grow. This one has actually pushed right out of the sand. It's just laying on top. I did not do that. That's just how it is. It's managed to push its way right out. Um, and the sand was drying out quickly. Um, even with, I've now filled the bottom watering tray. This has a wicking mat in the bottom. And uh, even with that, I don't think it's getting enough moisture and staying moist but none of these seedlings are looking healthy or happy. This one's dried out. I, it's just laying on top of the sand as well for the most part. The marigolds are starting to um, come up here as well, but again, they're looking much further behind in development from the others. If you look over at the, the uh, vermiculite, let's move the, these guys over. They also came up quickly. Um, but you can see their development also is not doing well and they're pushing right, starting to push right out of the uh, medium. I can't get a hold of that one, but it has roots pushed right out. And this one like that has a big long root there pushing right out and just not doing as well. Only one marigold has uh, germinated here. Uh, now they were older seed, but they all had the same, the same seed in them. This one looks like it's trying to push its way right out of the vermiculite, the radish there. So they're just not doing as well. Um, the rest, I think, are doing um, pretty much on par with one another. Except, um, I'll just turn the tray around so you can see the marigold side better. And now the marigolds, I mean, they take longer to germinate, so they're, they're still coming up here but they've come up in every medium now except the coco coir. I've seen no action with the marigolds at all. In fact, I don't even see where the seeds were placed and I had just poked them in the soil, so they're poking up. So I'm not sure if they rotted off because um, it's staying quite wet or if they're just not quite up yet. I just have like one up in the miracle Grow mix here that looks nice and healthy, but it's just one that's come up. I can actually see Looks like there's one germinating right here. Uh, there's two just starting to come out here. This one still has its little kind of seed cap on it. There's two, yeah, just two here. This is the Jiffy mix. And there's just the one so far in the vermiculite that's uh, come up. So we'll see what happens with those. Now, I was quite certain that these would germinate no matter what medium I put them in because seeds will germinate. You can do an easy germination test just on a damp piece of paper towel. Um, like seeds, once they get wet, like they want to germinate, that's what they want to do. And they all have a little bit of nutrients in them to get them started and to have the energy to, you know, push through the seed and through the, uh, 
the growing medium and, uh, and come up as seedlings. The more interesting part is going to be for me how they develop in these different mediums and how they do for the next couple of weeks. So we can always already see the struggling in the uh, sand. And again, this was just decorative sand. It's not the ideal sand that people suggest for growing in, but it's what I could get my hands on in time to do this. And the vermiculite again is looking like they're just pushing their way out of it. Now, maybe if I took these seedlings that came up here and immediately took them and put them into a potting mix, um, maybe they do all right, but they definitely look stunted and they're definitely pushing out and not as healthy. Everything else um, is looking on par with each other here for their growth. Um, other than the one thing here, uh, the only other thing that I'm seeing, like I said, is that the uh, marigolds did not, uh, they haven't come up yet. Now they might still come up, but I'm wondering if they've rotted off and um, maybe for anything that's a smaller seed that's going to take longer to germinate, that uh, might not be a good choice uh, even for germination as it might just be too damp um, for too long and maybe even too many air pockets, I'm not sure. Whereas, you know, something like the radish seed that comes up really quickly maybe could handle those conditions um, without, you know, rotting off or, or having trouble that way. So I'm going to continue to update you, but I just thought I'd give you this uh, one week update because there's been big changes since I planted these up last week. And uh, we'll keep watching this together to see what happens. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.